anybody remember where we left off? I entered uh, the darkness. We just killed some killed vampire. Some vampires. Yep. Oh, yeah. vampire. Bomb the vampire. This is true. And I think we uh, <clears throat> tried to disarm the traps, or maybe disarm the traps. I don't. Remember. You destroyed them. Yep. Yeah. Them. Oh yeah, we took down some them. obelisks. Yep. Some vampires. Mm -hmm. Got a wall. Find yourselves in the catacomb, under House oh, Veldaria. My cat is hurt. Was yes. the vampire Veldarian looking? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, did he have a faint air of Baldaria about him? I'm gonna stick my finger in the mm -hmm. fucking group food. My hand keeps wanting to go like this. <laughs> 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 think he's supposed to be like, oh, okay. Am I now? Um. <coughs> yeah. Did we, we loot him? Was there, was there an end, er, exit know, from did there? We, did we, we do loot? We looted. We loot. Yeah, I remember I grabbed did we get anything good? sword of some kind. Yeah, I think so. Let me just make mm. sure. Gonna... As long as somebody has the sword, then I know you looted what was there. Uh, I didn't pick up shit. There wasn't a whole lot. Well, he's looking. Was there an exit to the place, or was it just back where he came? Search. I mean, there's, obvious there's exit. Not, there's not... Is there another door out of the room you're in? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I think I, I have a sword written down here. Is there, a, oh, yeah. oh, is yeah, there a like secret it. door that we don't see? No, oh, okay. Just checking. Can I take your fangs? <laughs> Or do they turn into dust? They turn into dust. Damn it. No necklace. <laughs> if you put the dust into a little, like, or a vial on a pen, it's all part of the Commodore's disguise. <laughs> <laughs> just, just take the dust and just throw it at you. Just, like, it's part of my disguise. Oh. I know you guys are yeah. talking about vampires. Vampire, vampire dust vampire might be myself. valuable. Pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to escape now. <laughs> 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 oh. It's carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. Yeah, that's the word. It only cause cancer in California. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look around this tomb to see if there's any type of. Are you gonna raid it? I'm just gonna look for like books or anything like this. You know, like vampires maybe have something down here. Are the crofty of you? <clears throat> so you're gonna search the room that you were in? Yeah, and go back to some of the um, tombs to see if there's any markings or anything like that. But Obviously, it's probably the Valdarian family crypt. Yes, yeah. yeah. You guys were had already poked around there. Okay. So. Uh, as far as the chamber that you were just in, with uh, with Lord Vildaria, um, once the uh, the voice boomed in the room, then uh, we there's. Were... There's nothing especially remarkable. Just the sacrificial altar the vampire was standing on. A empty pedestal where the voice came from. And then it's just, it's very ornately was decorated, it, but... Did the temple, or the altar have like any gods associated with it? Like no. Or anything like that? No. Okay. So that's where we came here, right? Mm -hmm. Believe we're the gem. Yeah. Yeah. Any any gem like holding <laughs> ornaments or <laughs> no, no, not nothing any red glow? that would. <laughs> Was there a fireplace? No. Okay. No, you're in you're in a catacomb. Crypt. 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 Or not a like a manhole type thing. Right. Was there any sort of like in piece of just wall? Wall? It was just a wall. It was. It looked like a fireplace because that was wondering. the piece I had. But okay, that's what I was wondering. It wasn't supposed to be. Yeah. But it's not because there was a fireplace there. Do we open any of the coffins? The sarcophagi? Yeah, there's in it. No. Okay. Oh. Do we need to go back and slap the corpses around? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's really ultimately up to you. I. That sounds real fun. Probably clear this area. Def defiling graves is. Talk to the undead killers over here. What are we gonna do? Sanctify it. They're all dead. You wanna, you wanna track over a cold one? Open you don't have to fucking like. So. Okay. I can detect evil. They might be evil. sleeping in there. Do you have to purify them? Whoever never sleeps. Just on the corpses. They might be lying in wait inside. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin did some detecting of evil while you were going through. Yeah, he didn't send shit. Uh, let's go confront the manservant. And then Heal we found you. out there were vampires <laughs> down there. All right, we charge back upstairs. Heal us first. We don't just walk, I'm we charge. <laughs> first through the door, make sure everyone sees. <laughs> oh, you guys came from the basement, huh? Five. Wait, 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 before we go, let's, gra let's grab a skull. Just, just for effect. 
12 plus physif. Here's your grandfather. Ah! All right, are you content with your healing, Kevin? Does your lion need anything? My lion's down two levels and... Okay. I, I'll use yeah, my he's wand. got level green. I got a Wait, you, don't, don't I'm just I'm just gonna throw this out there is he could dismiss the lion to heal on the astral plane yeah. and you wouldn't have to worry about it. My lion. The lion's gonna disappear into the the ether. You're going to release him to Yeah. I'm gonna say thank you for clearing the way for us. He just said he just says thank you. I say bye kitty. <laughs> Bye, Bye po- kitty. Bye, Bye puss puss. Grab his tail as he's going to the portal. Yeah. <laughs> you just I'll have some nice fish for you when you come back. <laughs> so you're going to make your way back down the hallway and head towards the upstairs? Probably Yes. Okay. As you enter the room... I know you can't resist. The, li- the, the first room you entered into, you can already hear that there's very much commotion upstairs. Does anybody want this? What is this? Send the rogue up to scout. Okay, I'll hide behind the door. Oh, yeah, I'll hide behind the door. Okay. Oh, try to hide. Okay. Wait. Where's your die? Shit. Here. Thank you. mine. <laughs> you got a shitty roll. Terrible. Mm. Uh, let's see. <laughs> 14. All right. Mm. You're fairly certain you're good in hiding. <laughs> and? <laughs> and I'll try to move silently. Oh my god. You roll even worse. Maybe you, need the, Maybe you need the Maybe you need your own dice. Die. <laughs> you just need your own dice. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Christmas yeah, present to you. So, 12. Yeah. Okay. So, you're hiding. You're moving very silently. You can borrow mine. Well, mine are right over there. I just... He didn't want to yeah, get them. He's get just. Them. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Look, it's the white die. Fancy. Pretend they're made out of. What do I hear? Elephant like, uh, what, what kind of commotion is there? Is anything? Roll a listen. What? Pure seminal fluid. Me too. No. Uh, nat 20, so I hear I everything. Hear nothing. Oh. Wait. Well, you're not hearing everything just because it's... <laughs> if these are made out of seminal fluid, <laughs> and you roll them and be like, jizz. 23 for a listen? I hear or roll a couple. Dividing. 28. 23. Uh, <laughs> I totally got distracted there. You can tell that it's... A lot of it is very confused uh, banter, <coughs> and it, there's there's voice. Some people trying to calm people down, and ah, oh, the lights are out. Cormac's oh, actually fairly angry that there's vampires in this house. What? Why? Why are they in commotion? Do we do we know why? Not only it's just a lot of noise. He's gonna stalk up the stairs, angry. I try to go ahead of him and <laughs> not. Like sneak in so they don't see me first. Just wave your finger at the first person you see. Like <laughs> Lord Bathroom's right. gonna enter in a huff. <laughs> Mark, Mark, you uh, you emerge first, uh, and you can see various figures. Like, God, let me get back up to the top. I had to scroll down to the bottom. <clears throat> is it, by the way, is it a hallway or is it like an entrance way? You emerge into a hallway. Okay. I tried to play it throughout too. The next step, we to dip into a room. Like, we're playing dope hand battles for me like this the whole time. No. So, for example, I, I guess one of the, the notable things you oh, see is the blacksmith who I believe you met. I think so, yeah. Uh, he's no. physically being restrained by one of the guards, and he's uh, he's very much ranting about, you know. What's what? What day is it? Uh, What's going on? <clears throat> okay. Oh, smell. <clears throat> you were under. I will try. Person. We saved them all. One of, one of the three is like nah, dominate, and all I think about it, it's probably them. I'll try to slip into a room if there's any open doors or places I can get to without causing a ruckus. It's it's chaos up there, Mark. <laughs> They're not well, gonna notice. Even you. with your crappy hide, you can pretty much go wherever you want to go. <laughs> well, chaos is relative. I mean, like. Well, it's, uh, there's, there's a lot of, I, <clears throat> so I a lot of yelling. ultimately, right. as you all emerge, you kind of slip into one of the dining chambers on the side, and as every, the, the other, you others emerge, um, ultimately, within the immediate, not the immediate, immediate area, but based on what you can hear and see, um, the steward, The 
blacksmith, which who is right near. Uh, the master of arms was the fighter. He the the fighter is freaking out because he's look he's he's demanding to know where his his allies are. The companions are. Yep. Uh and uh interestingly enough, Lord Bathrobe, the uh yeah. the rich spice trader, her manservant is very, very vocal right now about you know how much time has passed, we have to get back to the business. Uh very, you know <coughs> this this being the man who didn't say anything. Didn't, d yeah. was, was straight up and stoical before. Uh, all right, all right. I'm going to go to that dude and be like, My good sir, if you are bringing your mistress to me, I can clearly illuminate you on what transpired. If you don't remember, I am Lord Bathcomb at your service. <laughs> <laughs> Did your accent change the flesh? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does. So you're gonna step into one of the side, like the dining chambers. Yeah, I'm trying to get him in to see if his mistress will come along to or wherever she is. And... She's she he she's the one he was talking to. So. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and give him the four one one on the skinny and the down low. However, uh, the bard is he anywhere to be found? Oh, the bard isn't anywhere to be found right now. Okay. He has fled. George, did, did we bring his the, the cleric's body in with us, or do we just? What, what a robot do with it? He reburied it. Okay. He brought the vestments. The, the vestments, vestments are in your room. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, Jorgenal's going to go over to the guard dude fucker and uh, tell him that there's something you need to see in our room. <laughs> I've got something in my bedroom. <laughs> got so to show you. Yeah, I, know where you're, I know where at least one of your allies is. It's in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my room. It's not going to backfire at all. Drink this. <laughs> Does this rag smell like chloroform? <laughs> yeah, this barn rag smell like chloroform. <laughs> Later on, you just see like the, the body like in the hallway and drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here, laddie! Anyways, so that's what they're doing. Alright. What's everybody else doing? Anything? Something? Go we'll check on Probably the, uh, I'll try to the stable boys. Go the I made friends with them, so I need to check on their pay. Yeah. Yeah. My clerical <laughs> join my rogue, and we'll try to talk to the blacksmith. I gotta check on my boys, smith. I mean the boys. <laughs> try to calm him down and just say that, hey, well, what was going on? Like, ask him questions. Cormac yeah. is demanding where the steward is. He wants to talk to him right now. Uh... You're actually greeted by, when you ask for the steward, uh, another, obviously, very well dressed uh, man. You, you, whoever you read, you found kitchen staff or cleaning maid, mm -hmm. whatever, whoever it is, gets you a, a different man that you guys actually didn't meet. Uh, and he introduces himself as the Chamberlain. And. Uh, this is exactly what I do. Still it's narrow my eyes. He, where's, the, where's the man that was here previous? The steward is still here. The steward is trying to kind of piece together what happened. Uh, he's, you know, he's more. The chamberlain's more than willing to take you to him. Okay. But uh, he's he's in his quarters with his family, basically. Do we ever uh, destroy that painting that charmed? No, not yet. Though? It was too strong. Everybody knew about that, right? Most of us, I think. I was in there. Yeah. I didn't know. I dragged you away from it, so. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I knew you guys did, but I didn't. Okay. We tried to dispel it. <coughs> yeah, we failed at dispelling it. We hey. came in just as you guys were. Oh, yeah, we told you about it. Okay. We're like, hey, we're there's like, a crazy don't painting. Don't touch by. that. <laughs> don't touch the crazy painting. Yeah. Let's go from the side. You don't understand. You don't understand art, you just don't want to like, ignore that. Just be away from it. It will overwhelm you. It's very ugly. It's a very ugly painting. Close enough. Not even close. <laughs> I didn't say it was close. That's this weekend's project. I'm just waiting for you to, one time just to throw something over there and just like bounce off and hit your, hit your All right. car. Alright. Alright. Belleville can't talk to anybody, so it doesn't matter. Outside. Outside. Where to find my bird? No, it's Belleville. Caw -caw. 
you step outside and you're just, Ugh. All right, we'll start with you, Guy. Guy, you reach Funny. the stables, and the ostler and his wife are out front, and the ostler is... Your spell been lifted. The ostler is, is explaining to the best of what he knows that some spell has been lifted on some of the staff, and... You know, it's kind of chaotic in the house. Keep the boys inside. What we did. All right, you're gonna you're gonna tell tell the ostler, and it, you know it's he's obviously shocked, and uh, and at the same time dismayed a little bit. Can he remember anything? What's the last thing he can remember? He remembers everything. Yeah. Did, he, did he notice anything strange like, recently to happen? Like something that might have caused this or triggered it? Or... How long they've been there beating up the staff? Just hold that thought. Because <laughs> I'm going to assume everybody's going to get to a similar point. But... Uh... Ross, whichever you want to start with, talking uh, to whoever you want to start with. Let's start with the room. The fighter? Yeah. Okay. So you, you reached the door to your room. Uh, motion him in. <laughs> After you go to dessert. And he hears the audible. <laughs> Roll listen. No, uh, I tell him that we found, as we're walking up to the room, I tell him that we found some vestments, and the bard that was here was saying that he was part of a party that had come here, and that um, uh, it, you stayed and he stayed, but two of all everyone else supposedly left, but we found these vestments buried in the maze, and then I show him the vestments. And on when you mentioned the bard, he uh, you know he he visibly gets you know there there's joy in his eyes that w one of his friends is is present, uh, and you know you continue the explanation and then you show him the vestments, and uh, it's it's obvious that he's seasoned, you know he he it's dis disheartening to him the joy that yeah. the mention of the bar brings obviously has, has diminished some and he you know it basically his thing is that while uh, well that's not <laughs> no I was just catching up no, not you know it it, 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 it <laughs> Chalm was the name of the cleric yeah. uh, it looks very similar to the vestments he would have worn you know, he obviously has hopes that they belong to someone else, but... Uh, I don't think I was present when they dug it up the body. Mm, no, no. Yeah, robot, robot, robot dug it up. Okay, well, I'm going to tell him that if he wants to find out where it is, the recalcitrant dwarf, dwarf that he found, <laughs> the other one, will be the one to uh, interrogate as to where he found the body in the maze. Okay. Bard. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's very forthcoming and telling, you know, the lady, like, you know, patting her hand, like, Madam, I must tell you to calm yourself, and we all shall be explained in due course. Mm, yes, mm, yes, mm, mm. yes. Um, and then I tell her about, uh, well, we arrived here, nothing about, like, the gem of the hex or that. We clearly could see that there was some sort of spell at work, something <coughs> was remiss, and so we introduced... Yeah, I asked her if she remembers anything about me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she... She... Ultimately, she's less distracted by the chaos in your dealings with her and more distracted by the fact that the bard isn't anywhere to be found. Okay. Like, she really doesn't care that this house is in chaos. Yeah. And then... And the, also, the, the manservant, however, yeah. is very intently listening to you and when you mention, you know, the vampire went, went on, he... He visibly, he spits on the carpet, and it's obvious he's disgusted by it, and and he he shares that he has no memory of 
you know, the past four to five weeks at least. Okay. He, you know, he can't say, but he was in a, in a haze more or less. Okay, so we're going to play off that a little bit, picking up on that and, you know, ex- giving him the explanation of what we found in the catacombs and uh, how things went down and if he's noticed anything, like what happened when, presumably when we killed the the main vampire, did anything happen odd up here? If he noticed anything. Or... Uh, from from a timing standpoint, that's when he kind of everything became clear again, yep. and reality kind of reestablished itself. Uh, and the last thing he clearly remembers is speaking to Lord Valaria. Is he more forthcoming with why they came here? And... Uh, probably not with her present. Okay. Uh, you know, he obviously, well, we're, you know, they're, they're spice traders. The lady wanted to go, you know, into the wilderness to see the fine houses because she's rich. I mean, she didn't okay. need another reason. So she's he not... wanted to stay and ensure the business continued to flow properly, but... Is she like the... The brains behind the business. Am I? Can I pick that up? Is that a little perception, or I don't know. Flipping. I don't know what else. Diplomacy. Sure. Sense, Sense motive. Sense. It would be. Sense motive. That's not gonna be great. On a side note, did that vampire burst into light when you killed it? Was there a bright flash? No. Okay. No, he turned to dust. No, you haven't got there yet, Mark. Okay. Uh, I, I keep thinking I'm missing it. So. Uh, and you're, you're trying to sense which, if he's the brains? Yeah, like, who, like, even though, like, for how... The feeling you get out of it is that she probably is a very shrewd businesswoman, uh, but too shrewd. Mm-hmm. Uh, he probably keeps the affairs in order, and is probably the one giving the directions, but not necessarily the one that understands the best way to run the business. He has a lot of affairs. Need each other right. to survive. Well, I'm gonna like say like it, to the man servant like it, clearly all this is overwhelming. So possibly maybe some other time we could sit down over a carafe of wine or something and discuss both what happened and kind of go over some of the mutual uh, possible business opportunities you may have with uh, whatever my wood <laughs> service is. Yeah, thingy stuff. is. <laughs> and you, uh, I. While, while you're doing this, it's obvious that part of him is disgusted at the fact that this chaos is going on and you're suggesting business. Part of him is actually kind of shocked by it as well. Yep. Um, Everybody's running around behind you and you're just like, eh, if you want to you know, work out a deal here. Very soon afterwards, probably things calm down. Am I right and correct? It's up to, he, he's like it, you know, it's it's up to the lady. Shit out of one of them. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. Kevin, we'll move. We'll move forward a little bit. Uh, I, the the Chamberlain is very kindly bring me to him. He he he's that's what he's doing. He's yeah. escorting you. And you travel to the second floor of the West Wing, a place where you haven't been before, but it's very much just a better decorated version of the wing you're staying in. Uh, and he brings you to a door, and as you approach the door, the, there, there's, very clearly, there's a guard at the door, and you can hear an elderly woman just, just browbeating the shit out of somebody, uh, beyond the door, and, uh, he, he goes to the door, and he knocks on it, and confusion, and pain, and loss, and... Like, all, all kinds of negative emotion very etched in his face. Who's the lady? And it, it's... Oh, there's inside the room, there's an old woman sitting in the chair. Who is this bitch? I was just gonna say, who, who is this bitch? <laughs> Kick him! No. Who is it? What do you want? I don't think this you any kind of his Cormac's anger kind of gets smothered a little bit by how... The scene. Distracted. Can I sense motive and make sure this is real? Yeah. Oh, great. I rolled very poorly, so I believe it's real. It's very real. I also <laughs> rolled very poorly. You both. It's very, very real. It's very real. <laughs> I'll just. I'm gonna straight to the point. Just, 
explain to me what happened, because we just killed a vampire in your basement. <laughs> uh, and the steward turns and says to the woman in the chair, uh, Mother, you can continue to verbally scold me later. Could you please excuse us? I'd like to speak to these guests. And the, the old woman makes some cock snide comment and gets up very slowly like old people do and kind of hobbles off through a about? door into another room. Uh, and then the steward invites you to sit down in the chamberlain, looks to the steward and says, By your leave, sir. And the steward... Uh, well, the steward turns to you guys first to get permission. It's very clear that he's trying to get permission from you guys to let the chamberlain go. Yeah. Yeah. And the chamberlain bows to you guys, thanks you, bows to the steward, <laughs> thanks him, and kind of scurries off. <clears throat> and the, the steward begins his story, which will kind of explain everything to everybody. But So we'll move on to you, Mark. I'm just... You, were talk you guys were talking to the blacksmith. I'm going to say, yeah, we... We fought a vampire in the basement. It sucked. Want to tell us more? Oh, and now the lines connect and we can all learn at once. Where is Mark? Negative 100. Damn it. <laughs> Start rolling D6s and you get hit by a lightning bolt. So does Cat's fireball in that room? Just, there's an open window and a lightning bolt streaks in and hits you. Uh, so, the story in a nutshell, I'm not going to read through. 6,000 pages of text that I have here. But it's no November. Why not? <laughs> it's a, it's a that is the worst month I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the Facebook post about someone's, some kid was posting on no November and his grandma got on there? What do you mean you're allergic to nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I have to modify all my baking recipes for Christmas. Please let me know. Get back to me. <laughs> He's like, oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. so. Oh. <clears throat> so, basically, in more uh, concise manner, uh, about five to seven weeks ago, uh, well, well before this, the forest to the south was beginning to darken. And Lord Valdaria was trying to solve it, trying to solve it. Uh, he actually stopped traffic through the southern woods for the safety of everyone. Uh, and then about five to seven weeks ago, <clears throat> a very wealthy man, a Lord Devitrius, showed up. And suddenly Lord Valdaria became a little bit more... Uh, they, they had a private conference. And, they, uh, and then Valdaria became a lot more reserved. Uh, he still was uh, very benevolent to the, his people, but he wasn't as he was less present, and uh, that was he began traveling more. And uh, ba and ba basically, after the meeting, Demetrius left, <clears throat> and that is he only remembers parts and pieces of that. After that, he went and talked to the Lord. And then he kind of is a haze after that. Happened to notice that uh, if Lord never came out during the day anymore, uh, he couldn't say because it was very it was very soon after that everything goes hazy. Uh, he can't say one way or another. Uh, he can't. He definitely never saw it. Uh, and that was at the point when. Uh, basically, <clears throat> Valdaria spent spent a lot more time at his various hunting locales and on the roads to the north. What did this lord that came to visit you look like? He's he white. <laughs> Bald. Big teeth. Big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Too big teeth. He kissed a lot. Uh, he was a elderly man, came in a carriage, uh, very elegant, elegantly dressed, but... He seemed rather flighty. Uh, negative 200. <laughs> do we, do we kill Lord Valdario or whatever? No. Was that him? And I, I don't know, was it? 
What does Valdaria look like? Did his picture look very similar to ones in the hall? In the yeah, do we recognize him from a photo location? Did you guys ever look at a portrait of Valdaria? I don't, I don't know. know. He looked at the cursed one. He looked at photo. You, you in the art gallery, you looked at art. He matched portraits in the gallery. Okay, that guy we killed? Yeah, the okay. guy you killed did. That doesn't necessarily mean it's yeah, Lord Valdaria. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, come on. Continue the exposition. Uh, but that ultimately is the last thing he remembers. Did you share that there? You shared there's a vampire in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. We killed him. And obviously, you know, while he's dealing with this stuff, he's obviously very much relieved that if there was a threat like that, it's obvious that he has his his heart is set on taking care of the house even before taking care of himself. <clears throat> anyway, he's he's as he's babbling through his story anytime the vampire comes up he he continually thanks you it's and it, it's based on your sense motive it's very much it's honest yeah because we rolled like six all right yeah. I don't look around the room so I, I, my like, hey, i'm gonna go check he goes back to the art gallery and like takes a look around at the portraits and finds one of you, you find the one that... <laughs> I mean, what's underneath this sheet? Ah. <laughs> well, you I would know. assume you're not that dumb. <laughs> well, you know. No, you're, you're pretty smart. I know. I wouldn't go that far. I did it again, Rogue. <laughs> Actually, yeah, the room temperature is decent. Yeah, I know. It definitely matches paintings in the gallery. Okay. I go how and old, can you tell how old those paintings are? I'll find them and tell them. I mean, it's not exact. Right. Similar. They're just, they're definitely similar. Same and there's, you know. Let's ask uh, uh, the steward about this painting, who's, too. Who's the uh, old lady that was yelling at you? His mother. Yeah, it's his mother. What does she have to do with the house? Is she, is she she's, like, she's, she's just his lady. mother. She lives here. Well, lady uh, his father was the steward before him. <laughs> so, okay. so What's her she, story? Is she single? <laughs> yeah, she might be one of those demons. No, she's like a human hellhound. <laughs> she spends most of her t- time working with working with the steward's wife and she's, his children. She's more or less of... keeping them in line. But she didn't. She, didn't she sounds like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Always up in your business. Business give you business. This is good. I had you guys prior inquired about the steward at all, you would have found out that, yes, she is indeed a huge bitch. Okay. <laughs> Most people don't like her. I'll mention that the vampire looked similar, very similar to some of the paintings in in the gallery. I was uh, down there. I was in there. Yep. Dude, and I, I burst in the room and I was just like, hey, it was Lord Valdaria all along. <laughs> you don't know that. He, uh... Well, I actually went and looked at the paintings. So. The, the steward uh, is is obvious, you know. He's put... He's not an idiot. Right. And he's kind of put one and one together and he, uh, he obviously states that he fears the worst and his concerns now are for the house. Who's the next in line? Right, I'm not there. What? Just overheard if about you could ask about the cursed painting. <laughs> so You're there. Well, but I, did, I walk in he the room and... He just bursts in and goes, it was Valdaria! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's up with that painting? <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh yeah, there's What's up with that cursed painting? It haunts my dreams. <laughs> it's called, I just go over and grab my, the, the coat and like, what do you know? Tell me everything! Not Where really. are the drugs going? <laughs> No? Uh, he doesn't know what painting you speak of. Okay. Uh, well, be sure we'll the covered one. <laughs> the covered one. Don't look at the covered one. That painting is naughty naughty. No looky looky. Uh, 